Hello, how are you today? How's everything going? Anything new and exciting happening for you? Well, I'm Jacqueline Nichols and we are on day 35 of our 90 day quest to improve on communication, confidence, charisma, community, cuddles, connection, all of the wonderful things that make us so awesome. So today's topic is about butterflies. I was just thinking we need to get way more excited about the anticipation of the possibility of meeting someone amazing or rekindling a spark if you're already in a relationship. I was spending some time over the weekend working on my spiritual romance novel that I will reveal at some point very soon, but there are some very young love scenes in my novel and it it got me thinking about how great it was when we were young. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and we didn't have all the scars and battle wounds of everybody else breaking our heart or breaking other people's hearts and feeling guilty or worried. And I want to kind of give you a moment of permission to just freaking move forward and celebrate it and get excited and think about what you were like when you weren't worried about rejection, when you weren't thinking that this may or may not go well on this first date that I'm on, or, oh, we've been dating for a few months, and uh, usually three months is about as long as I go, so it'll probably fade out. The, the doubts that we put in, the insecurities that we scream when we are not as engaging in dating. And I get all the feedback, all the updates from people after dates, and some are very long-winded in telling me their stories, and some are directed to the point. But the bottom line is communication and being respectful to follow up. But we have so much expectation on those butterflies. And I have to admit, the older we get, the butterflies take a little longer to get moving, and maybe the butterflies are getting old too. But also, we have the power of our own mental perspective. We have the ability to make the shift. We can get super excited about meeting someone new and show it all over our face and be enthusiastically engaged. It's up to the other person if they want to respond and reciprocate all of our goodness. But I want you to get excited. I want you to get butterflies. I want you to get that tingly feeling that you get when you're meeting someone new or you're about ready to embark on a deeper level with the person you're dating. I want you to give yourself permission to get excited and have those stomach flips and that thousand times checking your phone waiting for them to reply the anticipation of what should you wear where should you go for the next time you guys are getting together or even just that excitement of well i don't know very much about this person but i'm super curious like let yourself have that childlike innocence of meeting somebody new without the anticipation and the prepared fear of it not working. I want you to just get some innocence. Think about how you were in high school and college in your early 20s. Dating was so much more fun, hopefully for you, but it was full of anticipation, full of possibilities. There was less of a time frame. There was so much we didn't know, so we just kind of went for it. So my challenge to you is to uh, find some butterflies. Make your own butterflies. Get excited. Flirt with somebody that you've never flirted with. Give yourself an opportunity to kind of get out of your own comfort zone. Put it all out there. Let the other person know you're interested and excited so there's no confusion, and go for it. If they don't reciprocate and appreciate all of your awesomeness, well, that's their fault. You know, it feels pretty great when somebody is interested enough in you to pursue you. And it's also really great when somebody just lights up when you enter the room. So why not do that for somebody else? I am Jacqueline Nichols, and I want to hear about your butterflies. We're going to continue this conversation again tomorrow. Wonder what we're going to talk about? I'll have something new and exciting for you. Take care and uh, keep finding reasons to smile and have sparks.